Hey chess lovers, welcome back to the chess yard. This is Dhere Bagga and today I'll be showing you one of the games that I just played, Finishing. And it was an interesting one. It starts off with open playing d4. I went with c6, open plays e4, trying to gain the majority of the center. I played uh, d5, the Karo Khan defense now, uh, open can take here and becomes the exchange variation. Uh, can proceed with the pawn, uh, which becomes the advanced variation, which does happen in the game. And here, uh, the best move is to play c5 straight away, making sure that the center is completely broken up. Then you can probably develop the bishop uh, onto f5, play pawn forward, grab the pawn eventually, or maybe attack the knight, uh, develop the knight early, and, and take one of the pawns. So that's how generally uh, it can start off with. But playing bishop f5 is also considered normal. Uh, you want to develop the bishop early and then play e6. Open plays c3, I go with e6, and now open plays bishop d3. And here again, I can either take the bishop, I can put my bishop backwards uh, onto uh, g6, so that if the opponent does take, you can take back with the h pawn, open up the file for the attack, or you can just develop the knight onto e7, uh, defending the bishop, so that your pawn structure doesn't get spoiled if open does take it on f5 itself. Uh, I decided to take here, open takes back with the queen. Uh, I went with knight d7, open goes with knight f3. So we're in, still in the theory and opening. Uh, here I played c5, open plays a bishop to uh, e3 there, trying to develop the bishop, also adding extra support to the center pawn. I went with a6, making sure the queen never comes in on to b5 and trouble my pawn on b7. Here open castles, I go with knight to e7, uh, here yes of course it's it's a mistake, you can say open can take the pawn, uh, but can be recovered back as well after uh, knight to c6, you will be attacking the pawn here twice, and uh, would be tough to defend this, and we can also get our bishop into activity, and take that pawn uh, back, then open plays knight to d2, developing the knight, I went with knight f5, attacking the bishop, Open plays h3, uh, trying to maybe play uh, g4 as well, kick my knight away. Uh, I played c4 early, uh, trying to make sure that the bishop, uh, the queen is moved away. Queen goes to c2. Here I place my queen on c7. Not the ideal square here because uh, the pawn chain is too strong and penetrating through it is going to be tough. Open goes for g4, uh, attacking my knight. Now I had this thought that I can take the bishop, but what happens is after open does take, the f file gets opened up, my king is still in the center, uh, and the f7 is a weak square always uh, if you're playing as black. Uh, so it's a weakness in your structure because only the king defends the square. Uh, so it is a weakness and I don't want to uh, be ex exploiting it. Uh, I, sh I don't want it to be exploited by the opponent, so I can, I should, did, didn't take the bishop there, went back with the bishop, uh, the knight onto e7, open plays king g2, and now I maneuver my knight onto g6, that was the plan, and now open plays h4, again I can play h5, uh, and that's what I did here, so asking open to take, because if now the open takes, I open up the file for the attack again, and that would be good for black, so open plays pawn forward g5, Again, interesting choice. I went back with the knight e7. It's it's important. I'm just I haven't developed the bishop. I haven't castled. Uh, my king is still in the center. Open has castled. Has even broken up the castle to an extent by pushing these pawns a lot ahead. Uh, but things are still pretty much equal in the balance. 0 0.5 in favor of white. Uh, here, open goes back with the knight, which was kind of strange. I didn't uh, see that move coming. Uh, doesn't do much. Knight going backwards doesn't make sense as well. Uh, that's why suddenly uh, the game swayed over uh, slightly to the black side here. I went with knight f5 now again. And now preparing to play uh, g6 as well. Putting my bishop onto e7 or uh, g7 dependent on where I want to. Uh, up and goes with a knight to h3. Uh, making Losing the pawn on... Uh, h4, so I take with the knight, that's a check as well, open moves backwards with king h1, uh, I play g6 here, open plays pawn forward f4, uh, so I just played bishop to e7 here first, then open goes with uh, knight to f3, trying to exchange knights, 
and then I place my knight onto f5, attacking the bishop. Uh, it's a good position for the knight. I can stay here as well. I, it doesn't mean that I have to necessarily break things open up. Uh, open can simply go back with the bishop, but open plays queen d2, which was kind of strange because here comes the knight to g3, uh, which is a check, uh, and open will lose the rook here. Uh, and in this position, I think, yeah, open saves the king and I take on the rook. Uh, and the game gets over there. Uh, opponent resigns because of being exchanged down already. Uh, and if you see the advantage is 4.3 in favor of black. Decent enough. Uh, more than decent enough, actually, uh, to be converting it. Uh, also, the structure here is pretty solid. Uh, no pawn breaks going to help the opponent uh, to win this position. So, opponent decides to resign. So, quite instructive, I would say. Uh, didn't castle. Uh, it was move number 24 uh, when the open resigns. So despite not castling, despite uh, developing the bishop late in the game, uh, the games can be won as well. Uh, it completely depends on how your open is, is playing the game. Because when you are playing as black, your primary job is to respond to what white is doing. Uh, white drives the game always because of white gets the first move in chess. Uh, so, yeah, it's important to respond properly. And I think I did well in this game to win it uh, comfortably. I hope you enjoyed the video. Do let me know your feedback. Keep watching and sharing. Please do subscribe to the channel if you haven't already by now. And I shall see you tomorrow with some interesting and instructive content like always. Thanks for your time. Take care. Bye-bye.